Okay, another fun warm up you can run with your group. Uh, it's called shoulder tag. So most of you guys have heard of it. If not, I'm gonna explain to you how I run it with my class. So first off, I'll get them to put their right hand behind their back. They're only gonna use their left hand. So the point of the game is to work your movement in your stance. You're still in your guarding stance. You're only allowed to stay in your orthodox normal fighting stance and you're only allowed to use your left hand. So um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tag who drew on his left shoulder and he's only allowed to tag me on my left shoulder. So we're moving around, I'm trying to tag him, he's trying to tag me and we're using our movement. So again, you wanna use the movement that you will normally use in your sparring. You don't like run around and try to like tag. But a lot of the kids will because it's a lot of fun. But basically that's the aim of the game. If he tags me, um, that's one point for him. So I'm gonna go down, do a burpee, jump up, and then high five and then we go again. So we're just trying to tag each other on the shoulder. So you set the timer for one minute. That's your first round. Just the left hand, one hand behind your back in your normal stance. The next one we do is Shoulder, um, belly tag, so I'm trying to tag him on the belly. Again, I'm not trying to punch him in the stomach or slap his stomach, just using the back of my hand to tap him in the stomach. So from here, again, you can use your footwork, you can use your universal blocks to block the hand away, or you can use your pullbacks to step out of the way, okay? Um, this time, you're allowed to use both hands, but you still have to be in your normal stance. You can't switch your feet in that. So from here, I'm gonna use both hands. I'm trying to tag him, he's trying to tag me. Just like that, okay? Again, if you get tagged, it'll be a bear pee or it'll be a tough jump, it'll be some fitness exercise as a penalty. So again, set the round for one minute and we're just trying to tag each other on the stomach using our blocks or our movement. And the last round, uh, I let them have free reign so they can change stance if they want to. They can use both hands if they want to as well. So what we're trying to do is we're gonna try and tag them on the knee. So I can use my left hand or my right hand, I can change the southpaw or not, I'm trying to tag him on the knee. He can use his hand to deflect my hand or he can use his pullbacks. Basically, we're just trying to use movement and tag each other on the knee. Okay, so it's like knee tag sparring. So again, if he gets tagged, he'll do a bear or a tuck jump or a fitness exercise. And there are three rounds that we play for our shoulder tag game.